Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I'm going to be doing my first beer on this little channel uh, from Rogue Ales and Spirits. Yeah, Ales and Spirits. I don't know, I was just assume Rogue Brewing is the way they should do it because every place is like something brewing. But Rogue's, Rogue Ales and, and Spirits out of Newport, Oregon. Um, this is their Sriracha Stout. It is supposed to be a hot uh, stout with sriracha used. As everyone knows, you know, sriracha is a chili sauce. Um, this beer is actually 5.7% alcohol by volume, 55 IBUs on that. So there's that information. Now, one of the things that Rogue is known for is their packaging for some of these things. Like this obviously looks exactly like a sriracha bottle, you know, red, even with the green top, you, know, you can take a look. It's got the rooster on it and everything. It looks just like the label for Sriracha. And then you got the cap there. We'll turn it that way. There you go. So anyway, pretty cool. Um, oh, I must mention, this is actually a special episode for a fan of the show, Dan Isom. This one goes out to you. You asked me to do the Sriracha Stout by Rogue. I am doing the Sriracha Stout by Rogue. So anyone else out there, if you want... The same thing, if you have a specific beer you want me to do, uh, send me an email, uh, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. We'll see what we can figure out, either if we can get it or if we need you to try and send it or whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyway, let's pour this. I do have to say, <laughs> um, also with the, the design thing, that they do the, the Voodoo Donut um, line where they try to make don uh, donut inspired beers by Voodoo Donut that's out of Oregon as well. Um, and they've done a few of them. And the latest one was a sh uh, lemon chiffon crawler ale. And I just tried that because my wife Rebecca was wanted to drink it. And it tasted pretty close to what they were trying to get. It was very lemony. It had a lot of like creamy bready quality to it. Um, they did a good job. So I'm hoping this is good. I mean, close to sriracha in a stout? I don't know. I'm not very good with, with like, hot things. You know, I've had habanero sculpin before, and I needed to cut it with a 50-50 blend of it and uh, fresh squeezed by the shoots uh, in order to tolerate it. So I'm not great with heat, so I'm hoping it's just not a lot of heat, but just, you know, more a little bit of a heat with some flavor of the sriracha because the sriracha sauce is a good flavor. So anyway... Let's see how this goes. Dan, if this goes poorly and I'm like throwing up or something, it's on you. Ooh. <laughs> you smell the sriracha like freaking immediately. It's very peppery. It's got kind of a tomato-y quality too, like a little tomato saucy note on the nose. As you can see, by the way, it looks like a stout. It's very dark. It's got a little bit of like a tan head around the edges. It's a lot of like sweet like a sweet and tart aspect to the actual like fruit of the chili that comes through that smells like a straight up like red chili. You can smell that there's going to be some sort of heat on this. Now, once you smell past all those chili notes, which is a ton of chili notes on that, you get a little bit of that kind of like chocolatey malt aspect from the stout malts. A little roasty. A little yeah, coffee, a little bit of coffee. So chocolate and coffee under there. Actually, I'm really liking the way that the chocolate and the coffee are starting to really mix with that kind of hot chili nose. So hopefully it tastes the way it smells. It bur burns a little bit. <clears throat> Probably a little bit more than I want it to, but that's just me. A lot of people are going to be able to easily handle this. If you like sriracha, if you're cool with hot stuff, hot wings, things like that, no problems whatsoever. Even if you can handle a mild amount, no problems. I'm actually not doing too bad. And one of the great things is beer is something that typically will take the heat of, some, of a hot food down. Like chilies, they say a lot of times, you know, if you drink milk, you know, it'll take the heat down, it'll help you. Um, beer's the same, so it really helps bring that capsaicin that comes from the chilies um, under control. So it's good that it's in this. It's just, it smells really nice. So up front, I get the hot chili, but it's not immediate. What I get first is kind of like 
the sweet and tangy kind of flavor of a chili, a red chili. And then I get some of that chocolate coffee aspect. And then while I'm getting the chocolate and coffee, the heat is building up to a pretty present level. And then it's starting to come down a little bit. So it's pretty well controlled, actually. This is a hot stout that I can drink more of. Um, there have been um, some hot stouts that I've had in the past. I had one by Duclaw, uh, I believe. Uh, the Coco Fuego by Duclaw, which I hear it's been a little more under control lately. But when it first came out, I couldn't really handle it. I couldn't, um, I couldn't drink too much of it because the heat was a little out of kilter for me. Um, also... There was a chili ale by Elysian that had come out, their Pest, P-E-S-T-E. It was one of their 12 beers of the apocalypse. And that was like, it was hot, 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 and I just couldn't. This one, enough heat to keep it interesting, enough heat to satisfy Sriracha fans, which Sriracha fandom is a huge thing right now. Um, this is good. This is pretty good for what it's supposed to be. Now, is this the type of beer that I would really want to reach for? Probably not, just because I'm not typically into like chili aspects in my beers. But if somebody does like that, you could easily like this. Um, so I recognize where it's good, and I'll drink the whole bottle, no problem. And the heat's not going to be too much. So, Rogue, I think you did a good job. I think you accomplished what you were setting out to accomplish. So, well done. And Dan, thank you very much for you know, making this recommendation for this episode because otherwise I probably wouldn't have tried it because I would have assumed it's going to be too hot for me, but it's not. So thanks so much everyone else for checking this out and go get yourself an awesome beer.